Today we are learning about the cell cycle, consisting of interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis. There are three parts for interphase, G1, S, and G2. G1 is when the cell makes proteins needed for DNA replication. S is when the chromosomes are replicated and attached to sister chromatids. G2 produces more protein for mitosis. In prophase, the nuclei in the nucleolus disappears. The centrioles move to the opposite ends of the cell. Microfibers begin to appear from the centromeres. Those fibers move across the cell to form the mitochondrial spindle. In metaphase, the spindle fibers connect to the chromosomes in the middle of the cell nucleus, known as the metaphase plate. This ensures the success of the next step. In anaphase, the spindles pull the chromosomes apart in the opposite sides of the cell. In telophase, the chromatids arrive to the opposite poles of the cell. The new membranes are also formed around the daughter nuclei. The chromosomes and spindle fibers separate and can no longer be seen. Cytokinesis happens in both plant and animals. In, an, in the animal cell, the cell membrane is pinched into two daughter cells. The plant cell, the glucose, is placed down and connected to form cellulose, making a new cell wall. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something about the cell cycle.